What is up guys in today's video we're going to be talking about a new update that just went live today in Fortnite that buffed the Shiri Claws and nerfed the spawn rate of the War Machine Hover Jets or Jetpack. As always if you guys do find this video to be helpful, informative, interesting remember to give it a like, subscribe if you like to see more and comment down below what you think of these changes. So for starters Fortnite status posted this. They said we're making some balanced adjustments to Battle Royale. See the changes below. Amongst now being available in chests and floor loot, you can now sprint faster, pounce on enemies at longer ranges with the Shiri's Black Panther Claws. So I guess previously it was only available in the Marvel chest, but you can now find it in chests and floor loot. You sprint faster and go further when doing the dash. We'll talk about that more in a moment. And then they also said War Machine Hover Jet will drop slightly less frequently from Avengers chest, which increased the chance for other Avengers items, including shiri's black panther claws to spawn there instead so a buff to the shiri claws and a nerf to the spawn rate of the jetpack i'm sure a lot of you are not happy to hear about that uh for what actually changed and you know the hard numbers on this the jetpack spawn rate was reduced by 25 percent from the avengers chest which is a decent impact like that i think that's something that will be noticeable but it was also reduced by 50% from floor loot, chests, and supply drops. So a lot of people felt like the Avengers chests were like kind of the main way to get the jetpack anyways. That got reduced, but also the supplementary ways like floor loot, chests, just any other way you can loot was cut in half. And I think that's a very significant change. And I do think this is something that's going to impact the game. It's always hard to say when spawn rates of items change, like how much does this really change things? I only played five games uh, since this update came out, which is not a significant sample size at all. I had one game where I was having a really hard time getting the jetpack. In the other matches, I was still able to get one without it being too much of a hassle, but I was landing at mostly named POIs and I was playing solos, which I think is a huge factor in that, what that we'll get to later on in the video. But it didn't feel impossible to get the jetpack and many other players that I ran into also had one. So. While this spawn rate change is definitely noticeable, it's not like the item just doesn't exist at all. As far as the Shiri Claw buff, I think this is actually really significant, the amount of changes they made and how much they changed things. So the Sprint Speed Multiplier, this is how much bonus sprint speed you get when you have this item out. That was increased from 1.54 to 1.72. The Sprint Overpower Multiplier, was increased from 1.825 to 2.15 meaning you will run twice as fast as the default speed when the activation is on and you have the claws out the sprint overpower is that the activation you get and then it gives you unlimited sprint and it makes you go faster for a period of time the duration of this overpower mode was also increased from 11 seconds to 17 seconds the pout the pounce target distance was increased from 11 meters to 15.3 meters and the damage you do with a pounce was increased from 40 to 50. The dash speed was increased from 25 meters per second to 30 meters per second. And this is the speed of the pounce, I think. So when you do the pounce, how quickly do you travel to get where you're going to go from the pounce? That was increased. So as far as a recap goes, you now sprint faster with these claws than you did before in regular mode and overpower mode. When you activate the overpower mode, it'll last longer. And when you do the dash, you'll go further. You'll go further than you did before, faster than you did before, and do more damage than you did before. So I think this is a pretty massive buff to the Shiri Claws, especially as far as mobility is concerned. I don't really like using melee weapons, and I never really do. They increase the damage of that, that's fine. But like they hit like every possible way they could buff this item as a mobility item. And it feels a lot better to use. Uh, I actually didn't know it made you sprint even faster when you do the overpower thing. I thought it was just unlimited sprint. But like literally twice as fast is kind of crazy. But even with the buff to the Shiri Claws, I still think the Hover Jet is a much better mobility item. If you're only going to use a singular mobility item. If, if you're only carrying one mobility item, I would want it to be the War Machine Hover Jets. Like let's say you have your pick of whatever is in the loot pool right now. I think the jetpack is the best. However, that's not always going to be something you have because they nerfed the spawn rate of it. And even before they nerfed the spawn rate of it, I'm sure we all had those matches where like we have a hard time finding the jetpack for whatever reason. And so if you are in a game where you're having a hard time using the jetpack, taking the Shiri Claws as your mobility item 
for the meantime is going to feel a lot better now than it did before, I, I think, and is going to be a decent option to not having a jetpack at all. So in those situations where you don't have a jetpack, I, I think you're definitely going to want the claws or shockwaves. I think I would rather take the claws just because it's a, you know, unlimited use item and I don't have to worry about it being a consumable. If I found like six shockwaves or claws, maybe I would go for the shockwaves, but I think both are fine and both are kind of good mobility items that are just a tier under the jetpack. The jetpack is just insane and that spawn rate nerf may, you know, force you to use some of these other mobility items, especially in team game modes, which when I talked about me feeling the spawn rate change, I, I made a point to say that I was only playing solos because I think that's where this change is going to be most noticed. Whenever we have like a top tier mobility item in Fortnite that you need, like the Shockwave Hammer in Season 1 of Chapter 4, the Kinetic Blade in Season 2 of Chapter 4, the Nitro Gauntlets last season, and then now the War Machine Hover Jets. In solos, you only need to find one, and then you're good for the game, right? In squads, you need to find four for everybody in your team to have one, and you kind of need everybody in your team to have the premier mobility item, to really make use of it. You know, if you have a jetpack and your teammate doesn't and you're jetpacking around the map and you just leave them, that's not ideal. So if you have one and your teammate doesn't, it's almost like you don't even have one or you'll only have it for fights, you know? So I think the spawn rate change of the War Machine hover jets is going to be most noticed in the solos or in squads game modes. Like the more players you have per team, I think the more impact this update is going to have on you. And the more likely it is that you're going to have to go to something like the Shiri Claws or Shockwaves as a mobility item in the meantime until you are able to find a jetpack. Uh, as far as tips for finding one, I think landing at a named POI is going to help because they all have several Marvel chests. And while the jetpack occurs less frequently out of the Marvel chest, it's still better to be there and hopefully get a decent chance of getting them. Um, and then also just loot the POI itself. And then POIs that are near each other, I think also kind of raise in priority. One of my favorite landing spots or two of my favorite landing spots this season has been both Grim Gate and Restored Reels. And one of the reasons why I like those POIs so much is they both have a good amount of Marvel chests and they're both very close to each other with green water in between. So like if I land Grim and don't get a jetpack, I can go take the green water to hopefully get to Restored Reels and maybe find one there. And then like the inverse of that is true. I can go from Restored Reels to Grim using the green water, get there quickly, even though I don't have mobility yet, and hopefully end up finding a jetpack. So finding loot paths that work for you like this, where maybe there's multiple POIs nearby that you can take advantage of to hopefully get the jetpack, especially in team game modes, uh, I think is going to be really beneficial to you with the spawn rate of the jetpack being reduced. And this also makes it to where... You know, if you have one, you have a maybe a distinct advantage on other players if it is going to be more infrequent for other players to find it. Uh, but that is going to be it for this video. I hope you guys found this to be helpful, informative, interesting. Just wanted to go over the changes. If you want more thoughts on the Shiri Claws and kind of talking about them as a mobility item and talking about the double mobility playstyle, I did make a video about that yesterday. Um, so that will be linked down in the description below and it's just on my channel page as well. If you enjoyed this, give it a like, subscribe if you like to see more. I'm going to let some gameplay play out that I got on stream after this update came out. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching.